Super Mario RPG. That's right, Mario finally has a rocket launcher. This is very, very exciting. We get to play a remake of Mario RPG. That doesn't look too bad, actually. I mean, to me... That looks quite good! And sounds quite good so far. Mario! That was me that did that. Well, I can't believe they left Mario looking like that. I really can't. I love it, though. I mean, please, keep... Seriously, by all means, have Mario look like that. That's great. So I haven't streamed the original in like six or seven years. And uh, I, do, I do love Mario RPG a lot. It's my favorite of any Mario game that is somewhat also a role-playing game. Um, I have a lot of good memories. And I'm hoping they did this justice. I believe they did. Oh, I guess we're watching this again. Are you going to do the booster voice again? Yeah, I'm going to have to reference my old video, but I will do the booster voice. Vinny, you should have waited. Wait, wait, so hang on a minute. What, um, is there more cutscene? Oh, attract mode. Okay, I gotcha. That's okay. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe we can do that on stream number two. It's exactly like the original. This, from what I've seen of this game, this is one of the most faithful remakes I, I think I've ever seen. Like, it's, uh, I know the Square's, um, other development, in Mario's Hovering, game zero out of ten. Is it too early to complain about frame rate issues? Okay, listen, chat. This is this is pretty um this is pretty nice looking so far. I like I like the uh the way the the, the castle looks, like the colors, the lighting. It's pretty good. Mario's still just a little guy, but he looks a little bit more normal from this perspective. But yeah, I mean, this is apparently the same company that handled some of the Dragon Quest remakes, which are very, very good. <laughs> okay. Just remember, Mario can no longer do the peace sign, because the Beatles own that. Ringo, in particular, will sue. That's why they got rid of it. Love that sound! I have to get the timing right on the, uh, timed hits. I'll get it eventually. Why did they remove the peace sign? I don't know, actually. So yeah, there are some frame rate issues. I'm sorry to do that. I'm sorry to ruin your childhood. Uh, but no, it, there are. Um, for a game like this, it doesn't really bother me that much, but I can't help but notice it. In, like, the bigger rooms, it looks like there's, uh, there's some... little bit of an issue here and there. Um, it's not- no, it's not going to ruin the experience for me, and I'm not gonna harp on it. Because, again, it's fucking Mario RPG, but it's there. I noticed it, I saw it, it's there. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond! Wait, 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 wait. There we go, there's the block. Wait, so... What button do you have to press? Hang on, hang on. Press A just before the jump, okay. I... Gotta get that timing.
I'll get the timing, chat. I'll get it. I'll get it. I also, I swear I knew that you had to attack the chain. I knew it. Oh, come on, Mario. Do the timed hit. Was it sound? No! It's a chain reaction. Hang in there, Chandelier. I'm holding on by the skin of your teeth. Whatever you do, don't let go! I love the, the fucking cry animation. Coming, Mario! Fight, Mario, fight! Wait, why is this chain chomp, like, worse than the other one? It took one hammer. Alright, two hammers. I'm the strong hammers, I guess. They changed most of the timing on the timed hits, really? <laughs> Something he said. You're always in my way! This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Funga! Boiled again! I'm so happy they kept the funga. That's vital. That's, that's vital. Oh, Mario, you had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Eek. Mario, the whole castle shaking. Okay, they're doing more cinematic cutscenes, which of course they should. Looks nice though. Smithy's still looking like a clumsy ass fucking foolish sword. Someone asked me not too long ago, Vinny, will you use your original Mario RPG guide when playing this game? And I could. That's not Smithy. I'm sorry, that's Exor. That's I always get the names confused. That's Exor the sword. I also uh, have heard that it's not 100% the same. But I could have the guide nearby if I really wanted to. Commercials called him Smithy the Sword. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by to pick up Princess Peach, since she's a bit late. I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Yoko Shimomura, one of my favorite composers of all time. Who apparently handled the arrangements for the uh, remake. Also, I love that, that Mario just has another outfit, which finally proves to me that Mario does not sleep in his, oh wait, he just did. storage box. Is that new? Yeah, I think that is new. Alright, that's helpful. I, I already really like the way this looks. Just, like, translating that early 90s um, 3D into modern 3D with some soft lighting and everything. I think it... I, so far, just this screen and the hills and the stuff, I think they did a pretty good job with it. Princess was here with you, Mario. Uh, so where is she? Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Uh, Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Uh, Mario, I forgot something important. Uh, if you get knocked out, you'll wake up at the last place you saved. Uh, but guess what? On this adventure, you'll save automatically when you go between areas! <laughs> It'll save all the time, so if worse comes to worst, you won't lose too much progress. Uh, lose too much progress, am I right? You can also hop on this thing to save, just like the good old days. Use them how you'd like. 
Uh, and thanks for taking a break from your adventure. That's everything important I can think of. Now get yourself to Bowser's Keep! Okay. Game babified. It's fine. I'm okay with extra saving. It's cool. If you're tired, just turn off the fungi light next to your bed for a snooze! Harder before the patch. The, the, the full 3D patch. But seriously, Mario is floating. Halt. Who goes there? Trespasser? This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. We have big plans, and this is the first step in that. If you weren't... If it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this! I would imagine the entire Smithy Gang just was inside the sword. And then when the sword inserted itself into the castle, they all they all came out of it like a clown car. That is what happened. Oh, cool. How'd they all fit in there? Okay, I'ma go to sleep, and I'ma gonna stop uh, playing the game now. You're back so soon, did you forget something? No, what happened then? I, I love that they're still doing this goofy shit. The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now. Just wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Someone said, I, I'm so used to watching VODs, I forgot this was live. It's live, and I read your comment live, chat member. Hi. Oops, excuse me! Oh, uh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. Whenever you want to use an item to get some HP back, press X. Getting a mushroom can give you a boost whenever you're feeling tired. <sighs> now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. I came to warn you that Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters! I just barely made it back here in one piece! Mario, please do something! Perhaps I can help? You know what action commands? Uh-oh, the voice is starting to hurt, Mario! I feel blood in my throat! Hey, you better watch out, he knows about action commands! He's gonna punch your lights out! He's got more bark than bite, huh? Now why did I rush back? I had something to tell ya. Oh, that's right! We need to tell the Chancellor about Peach! I'll see you over at the Mushroom Kingdom! Just in case that gets with you! Please uh, uh, stop talking to him. I really like... I like the music in this area a lot. There we go. Oh wow, it does a little bit of uh, splash damage. There are luck-based mechanics, as there have always been. Uh, there's also a 6%. There's like a percentage meter? I don't know what's going on there. So let's take a look at the menu. Monster list. Oh wow, cool. It shows you its drops, its rare drops. Okay. 
most Goombas can be defeated just by stomping on their heads, but watch out, these Goombas' heads are hard enough to attack with. You can hold L or R to run. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure. Always choose who to attack or heal in battle. Normal... Yeah, normal mode. Um, fewer items can be carried. Music. Oh, man. I'm probably gonna be switching here and there. Like I did with Live Alive. Someone said, if you kill your voice early, we will not be blessed by the return of Booster. I think that's what they said. Modern music should not be skipped. Oh no, it won't be. I'm gonna keep it mostly modern. Because the, the arrangements sound good. Are there multiple levels of timed hits? Like, one has AoE and the other one doesn't? Oh, there's good and perfect. I gotcha, okay. Percentage is a limit break. Chad, it's been like six years since I've played this, but there were no limit breaks in the original, right? No. Okay. Listen, even some of my favorite games I have a fucking shit memory for. But... So it goes. Wait until I play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. A game I've played, the original I've played probably all the way through like seven or eight times. I'm gonna be like, is this new? Vinny, that's Vincent Valentine. Vinny, that's a chocobo. Vinny, that's Cloud. Still not getting the timing on the jump, unfortunately. Well, okay, I never owned this game. I've completed it a couple times. I do love it. I had the guide for it, weirdly. My... Okay, I remember my uncle had a house in Connecticut. And he had this big attic with a big screen TV in it. And had a Super Nintendo and Mario RPG. So whenever... Not Uncle Funzalo. Whenever I would go up uh, to Connecticut and, and go there, I would play Mario RPG. He was an awesome uncle. Um, anyway, point is, that was, for me, I have a lot of good memories for, for this game. And I associate it with that, those times um, in Connecticut. So I, I always enjoyed that. That's a little bit of lore. Um, and what else? Oh, uh, then I would rent the game and then try to rent the same copy. So I didn't finish this game for years until I, uh, emulated it like a criminal. Poof! My life was flashing before my eyes for a second there! There's a little something in return! But, yeah, I mean, this this game has been... Even though I never owned it, I rented it a bunch, I played it a bunch, and it was always something that I... Like, I, I have a lot of good memories of this in Yoshi's Island, which both came out around the same time. 
and uh, Donkey Kong Country as well. One and two. Sure are a lot of HP maxes. But I did do a stream of this many years ago. Of course, you know, six years is still a long time for me. So even though I remember the game fairly well, there's a lot I've forgotten. Flower items will permanently increase your max FP, letting you use more specials. Raises FP by one. No, wait, that's that's a permanent. Right? I gotta use that in battle? On the... On the... Oh, you press X. Okay. Ow! Couldn't run. Oh man, I wanted to run away so I could do the spin voice. Hopefully there will be another spinning Goomba so I can do the thing. Man. to the music when your combo is S+. Was there a... Was there a key change? Wait, was that key change in the original? No, right? Okay, cool. Chat, I'm gonna do something here, and I want you to enjoy it. The next one will cost you. But that one's free. Mario has logged out. How much? Uh, that's 32 cents. Clown pubes. Wait, is that a chat member's name, or did I just invent that? Please tell me someone's named Clown Pubes or said Clown Pubes. Oh, there is a Clown Pubes. Okay, I- because I seriously, sometimes I question my sanity. Um, like, when I was doing that fucking, like, that game, the wrestling school game, and I thought someone said, Bust a Blood Nut, and I don't think anyone said that. But then we got a character out of it called Bust a Blood Nut. Check their history, they only say clown pubes in chat. Okay. Well, I respect the dedication to the bit. The commitment. That's all they're allowed to say. They have an exclusive agreement with Twitch. 
I'm surprised more companies haven't done that. Honestly, like uh, Arby's Roast Beef Burger or whatever the fuck it is. They, 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 that's their name and they can only say that in chat. And like they have a, a three million dollar deal with Twitch. And they, it was just like a bunch of like corporate advertisers in chat, like McDonald's McRib. Oh shit, we just got a $100 donation from McDonald's McRib. Their chat message is McDonald's McRib. <laughs> Stop giving them ideas. I'm just surprised it hasn't happened with how much of a fucking sellout like McDonald's is. Man, back in my day, McDonald's was in stood for something, like integrity. And you'd only get a couple clown pubes per meal. Can I? Wait, how do I kill Lakitu? Someone said you gotta kill all of Lakitu's enemies, and then you can... I wanna wallop Lakitu. I feel like wallop is probably a word that this game uses somewhere. I have like a vague memory of, of someone giving a walloping to someone. In any case, wallop fits the game's vibe perfectly. For those wondering, ha, about Mario Wonder, I will stream that final level. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna um, get 100% on those levels on my own time, and then I'm gonna stream the final level. And I won't use, I won't use a badge for it. I'm gonna do it. It took desert like four hours. Uh oh. What have I done? What what have I agreed to? Yeah, chat, I don't think I can kill this Lakitu. I mean it was you know, nice to level up a little bit, but I think that's just what that is, that's a level up Lakitu. Hey, are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like ya. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I love this music. Is that a bugle? What is that? <laughs> Toad assist? I got- Oh, that's the limit break. It, it, Toad just gives me a mushroom. Attack up. Thanks, Toad. There's other limit breaks, too. Okay. Still can't get the timing on that jump. But you got it. Oh, this isn't the infinite jump. Oh, I thought this was like, you could jump a couple times in a row. This one's just extra power when you get it. You idiot!
Oh, thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. The Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Hey, do you know what this is? It's the Hammer Brothers insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you whomp them with this. Whomp, not wallop, but whomp. Let's get a move on. I'll see you in the Mushroom Kingdom. Now, chat, this is from the glory days of Squaresoft, and we're going to talk about that a little bit, too. However, I need to go get my Mario RPG guide, and I will be right back. Enjoy the original version of the song for a moment. bad news everyone it's not where i thought it was which means i don't have uh I, I don't have any idea where it is so um never mind i was gonna use it to help find the hidden item blocks I'll, you know, I'll look for it a little bit more at some point, but not while I'm playing the game. I'm just enjoying the visuals. Just give me a moment here. And also this fellow. I haven't seen Princess Peach lately. What? Bowser's got her again? All I do is cook and clean. Hi, Mario. My buddy is waiting for you upstairs. Oh, this sounds really nice. One, two, three. You gonna practice enough? I'll jump as high as you, Mario. Sure. I just, I love that in this game, you could, you could just jump on anyone's head. Music sounds nice. Um, the inside of the houses look really nice. I know that they got rid of the blue void. Normally in this, uh, this town, which of course is very laggy, even in the original, it's not. Uh, there, but there was like now there's walls and some trees, but there's originally just a blue void. Listen, you'd be hiding here too if you had to run in with that crocodile creep.
Hey, Mario, look where you're standing in. Oh. Ha, gotcha. Not again. Hey, did you see a crocodile around here? He talks like a mobster wannabe. I'm sure he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec. My wallet's gone. Say, hey, Mario, guess what? Rainy isn't just a friend anymore. We're getting married. <laughs> Mario's like, I'm sorry, do I know you? Do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? Not yet. That's a spoiler. Also, Mario, to me, this is the game where the mustache looks the most like Mario smiling. Because it covers his mouth and, like, the perspective and the angle, especially in the original one. Like, I, I always kind of just mentally painted Mario with a permanent smile on his face. Meanwhile, he's in there like, I don't know who you people are. Mario, I made a great set for you in a few years, right? No worry, if Bowser shows up, I know just how to get his goat. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. It's nice to see our young ones having a good time. You mean jumping endlessly? Or running in circles? Yep, they're having a great time. At least there's one toad with a Game Boy somewhere. Otherwise, like, life in the Mushroom Kingdom seems kind of boring. I don't know, maybe, you know what, when you're, when you're a kid jumping on a bed's fun. I can't shit on that. that. That's some good, that's some good fun. Or, and getting dizzy is also fun. See? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off there this minute! Mario, what a pleasant surprise. One of the frog sage's grandchildren is running errands in the town today. I haven't seen him, though. Oh, you're here to shop. What are you looking for? Mario, you weren't wearing a shirt. Okay, we'll get some jump shoes on. I order you to stand before me. Now I order you to jump. In this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. Should help, too. Don't forget to equip it if you're hunting for hidden treasures. A signal ring will let you know that there's a hidden treasure nearby. It has no effect when not equipped. So that's new. Oh, I remember that one. I remember that one. However, if you wear this, then in combat, you are less powerful. Here we go, chat. Now, this is what I would do in the original, before I had the guide. But we were, we were having fun these days, back in the day there. Oh, we loved it, jumping around until we found a hidden block, and the reward was great, let me tell you. There's the one with the Game Boy. Don't talk to me now. <laughs> Vinny Toad? It's not like I'm always sleeping. That's Vinny Toad.
but you kind of can't just sleep all day. Like, I don't know how people do that. If I sleep more than like nine hours, and nine's a lot, but if I sleep more than nine hours, I don't feel great. I knew someone that had to get 12 hours of sleep every night, or so they claimed. I question the validity of such claims. Hang on a second. Vinny, jump on the toad's head. Which toad? For an Easter egg. Which which one? Oh. Oh! Oh! I'm a dyer! Mario, hurry, the Chancellor awaits. Mario, there you are! I'll tell the Chancellor you're here! I'll wait for you down the hallway! Wasn't that the one that you could never get again if you didn't get it? Guarding the treasure room, sorry, but you'll have to get the Chancellor's permission or pats. You can get it in this version anytime. Oh, okay. The vault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. I mean, the frame stutters are annoying. Some rooms they happen, some they don't. As I said earlier, if you if you just joined, if you didn't hear it, it's not a game ruiner for a game that looks like this. It's it's you know Mario RPG, but I can't help but notice it. Oh, that's not PE, right? Okay. I was looking. I, it's this room, I think. Here it is. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the chancellor must feel? Found peaches. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in exchange. Just leave everything where it was. Bloomers in exchange for a mushroom. That's the start of some real weird shit. Let me tell you, chat. Let me tell you. And yes, that, that was the thing in the original. You would find question mark, question mark, question mark. Is it just me, or has that happened a lot in Squaresoft games? Like, Final Fantasy VII, you find Tifa's things as well. Orthopedic underwear, you do? Yep, uh-huh. Pantsu-chan? Sir, Mario has arrived! Mario, thank goodness you're here! We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud, I almost dropped my spores. Uh, excuse me? Where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? Is alive. You're telling us that Bowser's abducted the princess again? Well, never mind. It will be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Peach. Man, I wish this is how Mario communicated in the Mario movie. 
Yo, yeah, he he can just doppelgang into um into Bowser anytime he wants, no problem. And Peach. Wait, that's weird. Egad, the keep is unassailable. What awful power is at work here? Mario, her life is in your hands. Please save our dear princess. Hey, Mario. You're making sure to equip all the things you get, right? Shall I have Toad explain the process? No. Ah, that's our Mario for you. You're clearly well equipped for this task. You can buy armor and accessories in item shops. Now then, take care. Mario! Adventure over before it began. Mario broke his neck. Ah, forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. By the way, great arrangement of this music. But here's the original, just for comparison's sake. Here's the vault. Let me show you around. It's also, this reminds me of Secret of Mana. There's a vault after you uh, are in Pandora. You defeat the boss there, and then you, you go to the vault. Mushrooms you get from treasure chests don't quite work like mushroom items. Treasure chest mushrooms restore both HP and FP when you open the chest. You can't save them for later. This is a flower. These flowers from treasure chests work a little different from flower items. They increase your flower points as soon as you grab one, but you can't carry them with you. Flower tabs, on the other hand, you can take with you. Small ones are worth one, large are worth ten. This one's a ten. Thank you, little toad friend. That's all the treasure they had. This is a very poor kingdom. I mean, you know, aside, they spent all their money on the castle. Come back here. Oh, I love this. They did a little cutscene. Come back here! He's wearing bloomers. Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin. Oh, this poor frog. I can't, I can't cry. Big boys don't cry. But it's just not fair. What am I going to do? Stop crying now. <laughs> yes. Oh, gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? I'm all right now. Sorry, there's nothing like a good cry. But why was I crying? For some reason. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here, and when I walked into town, that croc stopped me. I knew crocs were shit. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're gonna take care of Bowser. Wow, he doesn't stand a chance. W wow, you're THE Mario. I know all about you. You've got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog. But can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you! The young frog, Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. 
Mallow's fucking pose is, is just so good. Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this, you see? I don't give a shit. I mean, wait, I've already heard. The old frog sage told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. But listen. The truth of the matter is... Oh, sorry. The truth of the matter is... Well, um, the coin was stolen. But, well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mario's on your team, you'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. You know, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. What are you looking for? Mallow, put on pants. Come on. I like being able to equip things in the menu when you buy them. Like in, in RPGs in general. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him! He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Why, yes, exactly. I don't know how Mario can shapeshift, but this is an underrated ability he just does not use enough. I mean, I guess he can turn into an elephant. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home! Sheesh! Give me a break here! Classic line. Ugh! Use mugs or never catch me! A snail could outrun you morons! Later! That's him! Mario, hurry! Let's go get him! Mario, you might want, want to take this! I can't be doing that toad voice for every toad. Here is the map. Yeah, only Toad should have the Toad voice. It seemed appropriate for that one bazooka line, but Toad canonically has the Toad voice. Every other, like, little denizen of the Mushroom Kingdom, I'm just doing something a little different. Of my own voice. Like, Mallow, I don't want to be doing a voice for Mallow the whole time, because A, I don't have it in me, and B, it's gonna get cheesy after a while. Like, Toad's a different story, because he's just so infrequent, but Mallow... I'd rather just kind of do what I'm doing. Um, because there's a lot of Mallow lines, and I can deliver them more earnestly if I'm not doing a silly marshmallow voice. I mean, frog voice. There he is. Probably stashed it in that bag. Let's nab him. Are you trying to tell me? Go on home to mommy before you get hurt, kid. I'm a punch boomba. FP is shared between the entire party, should you use it to attack or recover. Uh, as you learn specials, think carefully about who's to use. Some monsters are stronger than regular enemies. This Goomba is special. I don't think I did the timed hit right. Oh, there's a frog coin in that Goomba. That's new. There's like fucking elite enemies now. Frogog. Wow, he's so gormless looking. I love him. Got it that time. This enemy vomits on Mario. Luckily, his stomach bile is not poisonous. It's just puke.
little, little look at Mallow's little arms stretch out. Hi, Vinny. Are you enjoying the game? I hope you have a great day, man. Thank you, chat member. That's very kind of you. I, I, I hate it. No, I really like it so far. It's good. Give me one second here. Alright. That chat member's been fucking banned. No, no, I'm kidding. I just had to... Um, I got a text. It's fine. Nothing... Nothing too important. My otter died, but it's otherwise it's fine. Oh, my otter box. It's the phone case. I named... Yeah, my otter's name is Otto. Hey! Timmy, how you doing, eh? Would you imagine me forgetting to equip my hammer as Mario? Very silly. Yeah, that's Jerma's dog's name, isn't it? Otto. Otto. How does each bit lead into a worse one every time? <laughs> oh, I can make it way worse than that. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid, so I guess this is goodbye. Imagine telling Jumpman he can't jump. Like, how shit do your brains have to be? I can't jump, actually. Uh, he was right. I'm just trying to see if I remember where the... ...hidden block was, just from memory. Uh... Donk, donk. I don't, I don't remember where that block was. Is there a slight audio delay or am I going insane? Um, there's... V there's potential... Yes, I forgot to turn off the audio delay. Oh, wait, no. No, I turned off the audio, audio delay. There's always a slight audio delay. But, um... It's not too bad. It's very, very slight. So which spinning flower has the the um the thing? First one or second one? Second one? Someone said red to blue. Oh that that's right. That's right. Coca-Cola this early? Holy shit. Okay, so they reworked how the inventory works a little bit, because you can carry 
a lot. Okay, you can carry a lot more items, and they stack up to a certain amount. Which, you know. No Caro Caro Cola. Isn't that what it's called originally? Caro Caro? Oh, you're a persistent pest. But I'm a hundred miles ahead of you. Oh my god, Lois. I'm a classic gangster. You've always been, Peter. Caro is just a frog noise. Yeah. But croak is what we say in the States. I say ribbit. Oh yeah, well ribbit and yeah, ribbit's another one. Ribbit for her pleasure. Someone said, chat, how do I end this stream? Computer out window. HP rain has been learned. Um, I love the little dance Mario does. That's good. It's also nice to have, like, a return to, um, turn-based combat. Between this and Live Alive, I'm happy that there are, like, some releases that are going, like, full-on RPG. Like, classic turn-based RPG, that is. It's, it's just nice to have the option. I know that there were a lot of, um, there were a lot of developers that are like, people don't want turn-based RPGs anymore. And it's like, well, maybe not every game, but yeah. <laughs> It would be nice to have the option. Octopath 2, that's another one, yep. So it's good that there are still games being made like this. Even if this is a remake and so is Live Alive. Obviously, Baldur's Gate had some form of that as well, which is cool. Once again. It is Friday! Once again! If you can believe it! I'm sorry to say, but Mallow has been poisoned. Would you want a Chrono Trigger remake to be turn-based? Uh, yes, 100%. I would love that. I feel like this development team could probably do a good job with a Chrono Trigger remake if it's kept similar-ish to this, but the Chrono Trigger remake discussion has come up on stream a lot. It is my favorite game. I have been very reticent about wanting a remake of that game because there's so much it gets right, and there's so much charm in the sprite work and the sound font. But, it, you know, to a large degree, I kind of felt the same about this game. So, I feel like this game is a little different because it already was 3D. Well, it was pictures of 3D, basically. So, I think with, with Chrono Trigger, it's tougher because you could go the Final Fantasy VII Remake approach, which is like huge budget, which I don't think would be appropriate for that game. But I also feel like the Octopath Traveler thing, as nice as it is, it's it's getting done a lot. That might be the smartest option, but I don't know if I'd want that either. Then there's this option, which is to just translate it into 3D and keep it as, you know, similar as possible. I don't know, chat. I, I don't really know what I would want from a Chrono Trigger remake. I would like something Chrono-related, Give it up already! Treasure box is tempting, but now's not the time. What a terrible voice I'm doing for this character. It's 
one of my favorite features of this game is when you get a star, you get all the ex experience from, like, killing random enemies on the field like that. It's quite satisfying when it happens. I like that the, a lot of the combat sound effects are the same. Just a lot of the sound effects in general are just the ones from the Super Nintendo one. It works for a game like this. Vinny, what are your thoughts on the socioeconomic status of Big Chungus? I'm sorry to say, but the meme stock of Big Chungus has faded many years ago. Big Chungus. Ah, dead end, and they won't give up. I'll just have to hide. He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. The Chungus bubble popped. Thousands sent into poverty. Yeah, it's very sad. Want to double your coins? Challenge the system. Win big or lose all. Where's Yoshi? I forgot about this. Four coin. Yeah, that that seems that seems a little easier. Ah, oh, I broke the chain. If anything Fleetwood Mac has taught me, it's to never break the chain. But what happens, um, I wonder if, uh, if you get a lot of chain in a row. You get, like, something special, I wonder. What a great fucking song that is. What a great album. What such a fucking good album. What's this? You fools couldn't chase down a pumpkin, see? Gotcha. Ah, your eyes are much, fast, much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you a hundred more years to catch me. Ah. my favorite song from them, not gonna lie. It's a good one. Um, someone said, I think Vinny should be drunk for this stream. You can fix that by you yourself being drunk. You won't be able to tell the difference. Pretty sure I just gave the advice to my audience of get drunk to watch me. Someone said, dude, I'm high on weed. That reminds me, Snoop Dogg said, um, that he stopped smoking. And to give him privacy at this time. It's a sick reference, but it also makes me very, um, very nervous for him. At this rate, it'll take you 50 more years to catch me. Because it's either a really good publicity stunt, or an out-of-season April Fool's joke. Maybe he's he's going to be... Um, one of the theories is that he's going to be promoting edibles. Or maybe, you know, there's some health issues. But whatever the case is, we would... M Listen, chat, I, I want to respect Snoop's privacy. Ah, you again. This is getting old. I'll still take you. Yeah, enough! You got me fair and square. I'll give you back your coin. Whoa, did you really believe me? I was lying. Yeah, see?
flower essence. Ah. Wasn't that sound effect also used in Chrono Trigger? Or something very similar to it? Like, I remember some of the bats in that game and some other enemies had, like, a really annoying screech sound effect. I do know Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI share some sound effects. Like, the Kefka laugh, um, modulated a little bit. Oh, eat shit, Croco. Mallow is here, too. Give me back my coin or I'll belt you again. I'm gonna pay you back in spades, kid. Go on, take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. I really want one of those coins in real life. Look, look how cool it looks. Yeah, we did it. We got Grandpa's coin back. I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. That croco guy left a wallet. I went back to the Mushroom Kingdom's item shop. If you want to join me, we can use the map to go to the Mushroom Kingdom together. Someone said that Valve uploaded an hour-long Half-Life documentary. Like today? Cool. They update Half-Life as well? What's the update to Half-Life? Anything significant, or... Just some bug fixes and stuff. I know it's the 25th anniversary. There's a page with all the features. Okay. New multiplayer maps. No shit. Maybe I'll check that after I'm done with Mario. Remind me and I'll check it out. We will review together. Oh, that's convenient. It's another great song. Shymore. Detail more. Thanks, Mario. I'll continue to stand watch, but now everyone seems suspicious. By the way, look what I found. Ooh. All those strings sound great. That little modulation up. Is, is this is wait, is this new? I think it's a little key change into a little like coda. Not a coda. What's the word I'm looking for? I, I maybe there's a better musical term for it. But um it sounds great. Like an end extra end verse, maybe? That's great. Um leave the correct amount of money for the items. Excuse me. You you want to what? How can you shop at a time like this? Just take what you want and leave some money behind.
But why are they on pogo sticks? That was too darn close. Thanks for the hand, Mario. Here, here's... Uh, hey, that's the wallet. Crocodile... The crocodile swiped from me. Can I have it back? Thank you so much. Here, I'll give you this as a reward. Go on now. Take it. Was FP shared in the original 2 chat? Yeah. Wait, I wasted the flower jar? I, I, sorry, I, I forget a lot of things. I always... Um, I, I remember enough. I just don't remember the mechanics. Um, why did I waste the flower jar? D oh, wait, do you trade that in later for a better one? Save them, they recover all FP. Oh, okay. I'm like inventing things that weren't in the original, and I'm forgetting things that were very much in the original. So forgive me. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. Nice. Guy's totally oblivious to what's happening. This is why I need that guide, chat. At some point, I have to find it. Even if it is a little different. Vinny, use your elixirs. I don't use the elixirs until the DVD commentary. Yeah, she's right. I guess we can put it off until things cool down around here. I found the perfect place for a wedding, but now we're all stuck inside. Oh, wow. Non-threatening shy guy bounces in front of you. <laughs> Love that hit. Man, I'm liking Mario just being a fucking, like, hammer beast. Hey, Mario, look what you're standing in. We did this earlier. You, you still? You're still. Did they make Mallow a little bit better? Please tell me Mallow's a little more viable as a party member. They made him a lot- his magic is a lot better. Okay, good. Just for shits and giggles. His magic is good, but Vinny put points into his melee. I, I'll probably... Yeah, just that one time. I could put more points into his magic. I mean, some of the songs have a character if you grew up with them. And even if you didn't, they just have this unique character.
But yeah, it doesn't have that key change and then like the the post key change. But I still think that the arrangements so far have been excellent. Did you think Squaresoft? That was so ridiculous. I, you know what? I've received things from Squaresoft and I haven't had to thank them every 20 minutes. So maybe that's over? But Square is one of the most inconsistent companies I've ever like dealt with personally. And I mean, that just kind of shows you their quality level too. Like, I know they didn't develop this game. Everyone's hiding in the princess's bedroom. I and some others couldn't escape in time. I hope no one got hurt. It's also the same for the quality of the work they put out lately. But for those that don't know, there was... I forget what it was, but there was something where Square offered me a key to a game. But one of the stipulations is that I had to thank Squaresoft or Square Enix every 20 minutes. Oh, it was Trials of Mana. That was it. Okay. It's real. Yeah, it was a real thing. And then I read it again just to make sure I wasn't insane. And it, in fact, 100% said... that you had to thank Square Enix every 20 minutes while playing the game. The Vault Guard. I come here to save him, and he runs into the next room. So much for him. Oh, they restocked the treasure chests. The royal coffers have been plundered yet again. Never mind that. Guess what I found? It's a gold coin. A gold coin and it's all mine! Oh, I found this in the cellar. Here, you can have it. He wants that gold coin, even though his duty is to guard any royal coffers, and he's like, st it's like stealing gold coins. Check chair. Hmm. Apparently the new Half-Life update broke other gold source games like CS 1.6. Oh god. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I did my video of CS 1.6 before then, but there's also probably a lot of other mods that are now gonna be not working, so that sucks. But yeah, I'll check out all the changes after Mario RPG. Does this game, like, make anyone else want marshmallows for some weird reason? Saved by Mario again, how can I ever thank you? Enough. Vinny, don't be ridiculous, that's a frog. Yeah, that's why I can't understand. Why do I have a craving for marshmallows? Totally random. Also, I missed the combo has been broken. God damn it. Not so fast, pal. Look at him. Can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we could bounce on his head. Saved by Mario again! How could I ever thank you enough? 
Give me the question marks. I want them. You're in One Piece is real. Thanks to Mario, of course. Oh, thanks to Mario, of course! Oh, that was the toad. The toad! Saved by Mario again. How could I ever thank you enough? Oh no, the Chancellor's still in the throne room. What? That's terrible! But with Mario around, we're safe, right? I wouldn't be so sure. Yeah, you're right. I'm asking for too much. Good luck, Mario. Give him heck. You may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners? Yeah. Yeah. I want that. Where is it? I want it. <laughs> I'm scared. So wait, how do you get that if you miss it? In this game, it gives you the opportunity to get it again, so... You can get it later? There's a toad wandering around there later. Oh, okay. So the toad is just, like, walking around and shit? Okay. Someone said, hey guys, what funnies did I miss? I left when he whined about the toad voice. I hope that wasn't the reason you left. Can you... Chat member, can you do a toad voice for 10 minutes straight? If you can, please record and send it to my, um, my web zone. Please! PLEASE! I was getting ready for work. Okay, shit, I put that chat member on blast. God damn it, why am I so defensive? This chat member was being nice, they had to go to work. Toxic streamer. I know, I know, I know. I'm turning blue as we speak. Vinny hates the employed. I do. I do, I'm sorry. Did you see that The Rock? There's like a, a... He said... There's some really interesting stuff going on. The Rock said, um... He said the only thing one has to do, the key to life, is just getting to a point where you don't have to worry about bills anymore. Thanks, Rock. That's gonna help a lot of people out there. That's the secret, everybody. Now you know. Where do you think everyone went? <laughs> well, gang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce around all day long. There's no one here who can stand in our way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away! They love it. Chat, they have so much fun bouncing. I'm walking through the thing. Not so fast, pal. Look at him. Can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we can bounce on his head. Is this Mac? Clay Morton. Ah. Well, I like Mac the Knife better. I mean, it's not really a knife, I guess, but... Because Mac the Knife, get it? It's fun. Oh, well. Clay Morton's fine, too, I suppose. Listen up, gang. These guys are gonna put a stop to our party. Are we happy about this? You're asking for it. Ooh, you're gonna get it. You picked the wrong people not to bounce with, bub. How about a fat lip to go with that ugly mustache? Apparently Mac was a mistranslation. Clay Morton was his original name. Oh, fuck. All right.
I, mean, I guess you could voice him like Sinatra, like Sinatra's speaking voice. That's, you know, Mac the Knife, like just a crooner. But now he's Clay Morton, so now I can't do that. A crooner, chat. Crooner. fucking powerful. Okay, Mallow can take care of this. Yeah, the hammer is powerful as the jump. Oh man, I missed the timing window there. Flame wall can't block. Yes. Yeah, Mario's regular attacks are fucking massive right now. What was that about the jump timing? Chat member, can you repeat that? It levels itself up each time you get it right. Oh, I gotta do more jumping then. There's one. This is not good. This is not good. The mustache oid. Mustachioed? Yes, the, I, always, I always thought that was pronounced mustachioid. But the mustachioed man is strong. <laughs> like a Metroid, it's a mustachioid. Strong, that strong, yes. We must warn the boss. Come on! Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a king now, motherfucker. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Gracious! Oh, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario to the rescue. But who will do? Chancellor! Sure, thank goodness you're all right! Mario! So it was you who got us through all of this! We owe much to you! First the princess, and now this! It's just too much to bear! Mario, how about we ask my grandpa for help? He knows everything! Excuse me, but who are you? Oh, hello, my name is Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. Well, any friend of Mario's is welcome here in the Mushroom Kingdom. As I was saying, Mario, you, our, 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 our you are our only hope! Mario, please, you must rescue the princess now! Mario, I'm in your debt too. Let's head over to Grandpa's place in Tadpole Pond. He can help. Wait. Why did I even come to the Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess I'll find out soon enough. Wow. Look at that fucking mouth. I think we had to get Grandpa medicine. Grandpa Medicine is in the store over there. A soothing balm. For his neck. Could Clay Morton, the, sec the sword like monster who crashed into the Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? 
Our heroes move on toward the Karo Sewers. So long, Mario, and good luck. Where could the princess be? We're all counting on you to find her, Mario! All we can do is wait here. Don't let us down! Clay Morton revisionism is bullshit. His name is Mac. Uh-oh. Chat fight. Chat fight. I don't really give a shit, but um, apparently Clay Morton is the real translation and Mac was a mistranslation? Does it... I, I don't think I care, though, very much. Aerith versus Aerith. That's true. I like Aerith better. It just, it just is easier to say. Mac was a Woolseyism. Oh, that wascally Ted Woolsey and his translations. This guy are sick. Hey, Mallow. What kept you? I was starting to worry. Hey, mister, I got my coin. Hey, mister, I got my coin back. Oh, well done, lad. Okay. Here's the thing I promised you. There. Make sure it doesn't get stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? Cricket pie. You bet. Mario, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. <clears throat> that sounds disgustingly delicious. Um, do you think people are going to be pissy that they removed the Bruce Lee line? I saw that already. They'd ha Yeah, people have gotten upset. I mean, it was a fun little line. Um... I think it's one of those things. Here's how I feel about it. When I saw that it was gone, I went like this. I went, <laughs> that's what I did. I went, <laughs> and, um, you know, I remembered the original line. I was like, oh, that's, that's funny. It's a shame it's gone. And then that was, that was as much as I thought about it. It's like, yeah, it would have been nice to keep it. But I went, <laughs> You know what game could... I, I know it probably happened when they remade it. But that fucking Secret of Mana remake needs another remake. God, they fucked up Secret of Mana. And, like, that game... needs a really, like, really... I guess... I don't want to say, like, accurate, but I, I just want to say, like, more thoughtful remake. Especially in the music department. But that's a game that always had a uh, screwy translation. They had to fit so much story into these, like, couple lines of dialogue. And it ended up, like, even as a kid, there were a lot of things in that game that didn't make a lot of sense. And with Secret of Mana, they also cut a lot because it went from the Super Nintendo add-on and they just continued making it for a big Super Nintendo cartridge. So I feel like that's a game that could use a better translate. I don't know if they translated it again and did a different translation for the, uh, the remake, because I didn't play it, and I won't play it. Okay. This is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for the below me. <laughs> Whoever that is, it's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. enjoy hearing the music so much. Just a little fella swimming around. Wait, you can't get it. Oh. Oh.
fish that actually move out of the way. Speaking of, I actually did get a key from Modern Warfare 3, and I played a little bit of it. And um, the game is just a slush. That's the best way to describe it. It is just a slush of things. There's a part of me that, like, I don't really... I don't really care for the series as much as I used to when, like, Modern Warfare 1 and 2 came out. But... Seeing Spawn run around and, like, a flaming tree lady and, like, people with gun skins that glow and, like, Homelander and, like, playing on Modern Warfare 2 maps, it's, it's just a slush of things. And I really kind of can't tell it apart from Modern Warfare 2, and neither could V-Dub, apparently, but that's a whole story. I'm not saying the shooting isn't fun, because of course it is. They've... You know, obviously it's fun to shoot, uh, but I... I think I'll be spending the least amount of time with this one. Because I get a key for it pretty much every year, which I don't even ask for it. They just send it to me. I'm very grateful, very lucky, very happy. And then I make fun of it, um, which is uh, cool of me. But I, I do end up playing the multiplayer just because it's mindless and it's fun to just, like, you know, fuck around and play some games and find out. But yeah, this one will probably have the least amount of, um... ...of, of playtime from me. Aww. Play zombies? I, I did. I did. The zombies is actually a little bit better because it's kind of like Tarkov with zombies. I played one round of that and that was, like, genuinely pretty good. Would you ever consider playing the older COD campaign? N no. No, no. I know that they're pretty good. I've played a bunch of Call of Duty campaigns, and they're fine. I tend to pr prefer, like, more sci-fi, but, um, not something I would go back to revisit. Wow, I didn't even realize Mallow was almost dead. Why are they picking on Mallow? I just got used to the game being kind of easy here at the beginning, and I didn't even pay attention, so... Shit, sorry, Mallow. I, I, I got you in the future. No, no more mistakes. I'm gonna make sure you live. Mallow's a good mushroom, uh, marsh, uh, frog. Ever interested in playing the Halos? I have. I played a couple. I played through Reach. I played through um, Infinite. Um, if you're talking about like one and two, you know, and three, you know, maybe, probably not, but maybe. I know the Master Chief Collection finally got good. ODST was good. I played that on release, and I finished it when it came out. Uh, oh, storage box, okay. That's nice that they go straight to the storage box. Super jump. Yeah, ODST was fun. I like that one. They're doing like a cult dance, the little rattos. Ah! 
Ho what? Wait, ho what? Hey, what? Ah, oh, there's a little fella in there. I'll tell you what. A flower jar. Got the true form pin. What is that? You won't be turned into mushrooms or scarecrows. Luigi, I, I kind of want to be a mushroom, though. The most common of all ailments, being turned into a mushroom. Vinny, I just got here. Can you start over from the beginning? Okay. These sewers confused me as a uh, as a wee lad as well. Wii Lad? That was my favorite Wii game. It's a good one. Ah. Oh. Vinny, do you keep opening the Maxwell game for five seconds just to bring it back up to the top? Yeah. I like that fellow. Look at this, look at this monster. Hobgoblin. Really good, really good looking enemy. Big fan. Vinny, have you ever been in a sewer before? Um, oh my, have I? Uh, no. No. What do you mean you live in Staten Island? A common joke, but I, I accept it. You should stream from a sewer? How about I put reverb on my voice and just say I'm in a sewer? And then, like, just do a sewer stream, green screen a bunch of sewers? It wouldn't be that difficult. It'd be fun, in fact. Oh, there's a mimic there. That's right. Ah. Uh, oh, I got fooled. I'm sure... Me with sewer reverb on my voice wouldn't get old in five minutes. I'm sure it would be a lot of fun for an entire stream. The world's first sewer VTuber. Sludge Chan. Chan. I should just spell it Chan, just to, like, be a jerk about it, especially. But no, I... I I don't think I've ever bought- that's a weird fucking question, chat member. You do realize that, right? I don't believe I've ever been in a sewer. No. Unless I'm just not remembering because of the fucking fumes.
so chat, uh, I, I am as lost here as I was when I was 10 years old. <laughs> No, I got I got it this time. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. Yes. Uh, no, I no. Do I? Yep. happened to Mario? We can't talk? Wait a minute. Hold the fort. This is a person who had to communicate by literally turning into his opponents and his allies. Something tells me this is okay. Mario is fine. If he, he's a little depressed, though, when he gets that status. Has any RPG... I'm sure there's been RPGs that have done this, like, more... You know, like, comedy RPGs, but has there ever been one that has a depressed status? I feel like that's like an Earthbound thing. Oh, Mori? Oh, okay. I've heard of that one. Earthbound, kind of? Persona has despair. Despair sounds worse than depression, honestly. Any RPGs have the dorseless status? Elden Ring has madness, if that counts. Vinny, did you hear Chris Pratt's Garfield voice? You seem kind of like a Garfield guy. I, I gotta be honest, I'm really not a Garfield guy. I heard Chris Pratt's voice, yeah. It, that is definitely Chris Pratt's voice. As usual. I saw Lumpy in here. Lumpy's a Garfield guy. He's he's here, I think. I watched Garfield as a kid a little bit, and that was as much as I've ever really cared about Garfield. A little bit. Though I understand that Garfield is more of a... a merchandise <laughs> at this point in time. This must be... I used to think it was Belome as a kid, but below me. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Whoa. Oh, back. It's a snack attack, and you are it. Egg? Eggshell. Oh. That's nice. 
resist one enemy attack. Ooh! Room service has been kind to me! Where's my bib? Of course he would go for the marsh- uh, the frog. Stick for a potty, head full of straw! Give me a scarecrow! Rah, rah, rah. Oh, I put the thing on, on Mallow, not Mario. Fuck. Not much you can do unless you... Oh. Hmm. I get a marsh. Oh no! Mario's back. Okay, it's Mario time. Spit out that marsh. I mean that frog. You think you've won, huh? Little did you know. I bothered stopping a flood of water. So long, Sokies! That was scary. So, so long, Sokies! I could have done more of a Pennywise voice. Below, below me must have been lying when he said the water would come gushing out of here. Hey. Mario, did you hear something, or, or is it just me? Water! Here it comes! We need to switch it back before we're washed away! Well, don't just run and... Dude, they're run... No, Mallow! Mallow, no! This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Yeah, okay. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there are a few holes. Right, I remember. I also remember there being missable coins. Pretty good graphics. Not as great frame rates, but um, you know, how am I going to get a kill streak if the frame rates aren't as as good as they can be? It's okay, chat. When the Switch Two comes out, there will be a super deluxe Mario RPG for sixty nine ninety nine. It, it's going to be really astounding. There are some people that whenever I say Switch 2, they're like, you know, there's an assumption that Switch 2 is not real, like it's never going to happen. Like, this is Nintendo's last system. They're just going to keep making this. <laughs> I love that tomato dude with the fork. I love him so much.
that cave told a, a whole ass story. Get that coin, Mario. You can do it. Get that coin. Oh, what have I done? Oh, no. Why did I go that way? Oh, dumbass. Wait, can you do this again? I forgot. You can. Now for the barrel jumping event. You need some pointers. Uh, yeah. Okay, time your jumps, grab coins along the way. I'm sorry, I meant to do- uh, Jump onto the next barrel before they collide! Miss it and you change course! Well, it looks like you're ready. I'll send you on your way! I almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you'll lose coins! Bad jumps. Would I do that? Oh man, oh man. Okay, I got better at it. Um, wasn't that fun? You got fifty nine coins. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. This is the first time only bonus. I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your... Oh, you little bastard. You little fuck. <laughs> got a Koopa shell. It'll cost 30 coins. Yeah. So there's a bunch of different paths. Oh, but we'll do this one more time. No, I don't need a crash course. Ah. Oh. There's a bunch of different paths, so... The fucking the the one on the right that I missed, I might not even see that one this time. I wonder if these caves are always, like, this packed with activity. There's, there's always some kind of activity. And apparently, some someone built, like, lanterns in here, too. Wait a minute, chat. 
That just took me here. That's Tomato Man's home. Tomato Man's forking like every night. Oh, I guess we will see this this time. But I missed like a whole bunch of other shit. <laughs> Fuck. Take that. Life is hard for that bandit. Definitely a shortened sequence, and I still missed a frog coin. As a treat... Oh, never mind. I, I was gonna say, as a treat, I'm gonna switch back to the uh, old music. Haha, <laughs> you fuck. Oh! <laughs> no! No! Please, do as bad as possible. Please! Yes! A little bit of donkey dog shit. That's fine. 51 coins. One frog coin. Uh... You know what, chat? I'll just I'll just stop now and then we'll come back here. There's still more to do. There's still more frog coins. If I need another frog coin, I'll come back to it. If hey, Vinny, it's okay, you can stop pretending now. My name is actually Hermold, and I am not from New York. God, it feels so good to say that. That's Hermrold, chat. Thank you. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up below me, right? You know about that? Wow, word travels fast. See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all of the news that fit, that's fit to hear. Are you really the Super Mario? Hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here! He's the real thing! But he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only rumor. <laughs> well, well, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child, the rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Oh, ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? <laughs> Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am the Frog Sage. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I have been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. Wait, they're not calling him Frog Fucius anymore? Ah, man, his name is Frog Fucius. That was also a Woolseyism. What's a good one? It's funny. I like it. 
Oh no, my soul! It's being zapped out of my body! Oh, oh no! no. I did like Frog Fuchsius, though. Frog Sage isn't... It's just too generic for me. I'm sorry. It's not too late for a refund. I've been playing this under two hours. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear. Reverse. Full. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep he is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if you only knew the truth, Peach is no longer there. That took a while. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. You were rescuing Peach from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split in the sky. Split the sky, rather. Whoosh, out of the blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Peach are still lost somewhere out there. Now, you're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Clay Morton, whom you defeated at the Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. War will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the Mushroom Kingdom castle. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? Nope! It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Clay Morton was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if... Things, these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario in his adventure, too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This is, adventure isn't for me. Mallow, my boy, I've kept you. I've kept this from you until now. But you're not a tadpole. <laughs> Say what? Love this music. Sad song. Good. I was sitting here one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets, when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far-off land. Grandpa, you're me. You mean I'm not a tadpole? <laughs> Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Mario. Boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Okie dokie. Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First go to Rose Town, where they need your help. <laughs> it will be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right, I had forgotten all about it. I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Ah, I know. You shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. But 
froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. Very nice. I like how it's just like this island and a dresser. That and a table. There's not much here, but what is here is useful. Oh. That is called a scroll. You're a scrub scroll. <laughs> Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first timer, aren't you? Listen up. The green coins you periodically find are frog coins. Accumulate them, and you can buy items at a tadpole pond. Raises parties, attack power, and battle. I feel like some of these might be new. Puts enemies to sleep. Juice bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Sorry, you're limited to this menu if you don't have a current membership card. Party recovers 30 HP. I'll buy one of those. These whistles were a pretty big part of the Super Nintendo sound library. A lot, of, a lot of Mario games used them whistles. Mario Kart in particular, the original. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song, it's the Frog Sages uh, Suite number 18. So, la, mi, re, do, re, do, re. Todovsky's fond of it, too. Uh, that is a banger. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Bad song. I think I got one right. Is that something you composed? No, that's not the right melody. Someone in chat just said, this is my DAW. I'm the composer Todovsky. I'm trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. Do you want a music lesson from moi? Let's start by reading notes. Caesar five lines. Between the second and third... I don't know what this accent is anymore. I've given up figuring it out. Um, between the second and third lines from the top lies Do. Keep going up from Do are the notes Re and Mi. Go down from Do and you'll get Ti, La, So, and Fa. Ti, La, So, Fa. So it's, it's so... T... What was it? Uh, hang on, was it Do... So... So it's... Uh, uh, um... Fuck. modern pop melody. Is that something you composed? No, that's not the right melody. I, I actually need to remember this. So it's Do, Re, Mi. That goes up. And then it's Ti, La, So, Fa. Okay. Ti, La, So, Fa. Ti, La, So, Fa. Ti, La, So, Fa. That's how I remember it. Ti, La, So, Fa. So, Fa. Okay. No. Ti la sofa. 
Philosopha. Okay, I got it. Um, so, okay, so it's, um... So, what was it? So, la? La? Me? Go right me. So, so it's the top one. He already got it wrong? Uh. Um, what was the... So it's... No, you're good so far? Okay, so uh, can you keep posting the, the actual thing? Sola, me, re, do, re. Um, what was the next ones? Do, re, do, re. I hope this is right. I don't know. I'm just going based on what chat members are posting. Oh, yeah. Look, I did it. That's it. This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. I have a different voice every time. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. The card is for the shop. So it's Tila Sofa backwards. So so it's um Tila Sofa. So it will be Lo Sofa. Fa so la ti do re mi. Love that sound. Now I can buy more stuff, like frog leg cola. I don't want it though. Are there more colas this time, chat? Or I, I feel like there was only Caro Caro Cola. Oh, this is not the right way, okay. More cards for more items later. Okay, that's neat. Rose Way. The yellow tiles automatically carry you when you hop on them. That's all I can do here for the moment. Oh, wait. Well, hang, hang on. Plenty. Blind spot. Hey, 
hey, Mallow does more attack damage. That doesn't look like it would hurt. Oh, it did at all, so no worries. Arachne. You should hear the spider's thoughts. Wait, are you just... You want me to read the thoughts of a spider? I can try. I have a feeling if we actually could read the minds of, like, animals and insects, especially insects, it would be completely fucking incomprehensible. Pizza pasta is good for me. Pizza pasta for you. Feelings and hunger. Spiders have emotions. Their primary emotion is uh, hate, as you all know. I'm really, uh, I'm really doing a great job here, aren't I? I know. You don't have to tell me. Wow, that actually really hurt. special shy guy I'm trying to whack him with my shillelagh and it, it's not doing enough damage ah oh, god damn it oh he's just going for mallow alright you know what Does the super jump also get more powerful the more you use it, or is it only the first jump? I'm not talking about consecutively in one attack. I mean, no, only first jump. Okay. They always fucking bounce quickly. fuck's sake. <laughs> One second, chat. Sending a text. To my mods to ban that chat member. No. One. So I'm almost. I'm almost ready. Here, I'll just attack in the meantime. Ah! 
I'm almost dead! Okay, we're good. If I told you, it, it would be kind of, I don't know, it would be like name droppy, but, um, you know, famous star of the room. Uh, Greg Sistero is going to be in New York, and we were planning on getting together, you know, famous Greg Sistero. What a story. I'm so cool. I get, I get to hang out with C movie actors. He's a really he's a he's a chill guy though. He's really nice and uh, he's making an alien movie as you know. And uh, we're you know I've said it before. I have no idea if it's going to actually be any good. But getting to be a part of making an alien movie in any capacity is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. It's confirmed that's happening. Yeah, I mean, they the Kickstarter raised enough money. So... Are you helping him with it, actually? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Not too much. Like, just discussing, like, uh, script ideas, and also I'm, um, I might fl I might end up in Roswell at some point, chat. It is quite possible. Come on, get the, get the coins! Get Coins, Lois. Come on, Lois. 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 Then he gets abducted by aliens in Roswell. Gone wrong. Gone sexual. Hell, it's content. That's what it's all about. It's all about content. I say that so enthusiastically. My music is content. Are you content with your content? I am. I'm also a content ber berater, as I've uh, discovered. That's what I do. I, I berate other content. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of my stuff. I like it. Um... Was I supposed to get, like, actual, like, words from the spider? Oh, they call me Arachne because I lack knees. That's... Wow. What would you consider peak vine sauce? Gray Leno. Love him or hate him. Peak. That and also, one of the things that sticks out in my mind is that Sopranos corruption, where the guy's getting pulped into a urinal. That, I mean, that's pretty much my sense of humor, in a nutshell. I feel like it nicely describes what goes on here sometimes, too. I like it quite a bit. 
And the guy pissing. The guy pissing is a good one. Endlessly pissing and filling the entire room with piss. It's Italians, it's corruptions, it's piss. And also, the urinal is piss adjacent, so it, it works on a couple levels. What about Detective Pikachu? I mean, I could list, you know, dozens of things that I loved and still I'd get a lot of enjoyment out of upon revisiting or thinking about. Absolutely. But, um, you know, in, in terms of, like, peak, it's me playing Mario RPG. That's what I've been put here on this planet to do, chat. That sounds as if you are an alien. Well, I am going to be going back home to Roswell at some point. Okay, I need to explain that, because then there's going to be people spreading misinformation that I'm originally from Roswell. I'm not. I was just joking, because aliens, do you get it? It's Sometimes it's very important to explain the joke. It wasn't even a joke. But now you know, Chad. I'm not actually from Ros Roswell, New Mexico. I was not. I've never been. I've never been. It's true. It's true. It's true. Can you go into it in more detail? Yes. You see, there are many sightings in Roswell, including the uh, famous crash of uh, an alleged alien saucer. All right, people, form ranks. Jagger, head of the Sheldon Warriors. All right, and it's me, Bowser. How you doing? Wizard Koopa, master of the hooded sorcerers. <laughs> and last but not least, Goomhilda, grand dame of the groundling Goombas. I mean, are the Goombas all that? All right, that's, they're fine. They're good. They're good. Goombas are good. This is our finest moment. Bowser's minions are invincible. We shall be victorious! The bridge is down, but we'll find a way to get back in. Move out! On the double! Bowser and his minions must be on their way to Bowser's Keep. Come on, Rosetown is just up ahead. One more thing I would say in regards to, like, peak vine sauce for me is any time I stream Chrono Trigger. Which, you know, I've been jonesing for another one. One day. One day. A Zelda 2 is another good one, too, and just in terms of, like, you know, I, I enjoy it and also get frustrated in a way that I love it. I don't even really mind getting frustrated in Zelda 2. It's part of the package. But, yeah, it's just a lot of concentrated nostalgia, and I, I enjoy doing it. Those are like my favorite streams, just about. See? Arrows come flying out from the forest, and when you're hit, you can't move. See, look! I can't move a muscle. Now I know how a scarecrow feels. Since the day the shooting star fell into the forest, arrows have been showering our town. Can't move! Mario, help! <laughs> hey, Mario! I'm gonna go to put this bitch now! Boing, boing! Super jump attack! You think you're gonna hurt me with your childish prank? I touch your feet, you're coming with me, zip your lip! Help! Help! Please don't help me! Ah. Oh my gosh! It's... it's my... What? Mom! Mom, look, we have a guest! 
yes, dear. I... Oh, hello. You, I, I hear you. Hello there. Aren't you Mario? For real? Well, you have the hat and the funky stash. Are you really Mario? You betcha. How do I know it's you? You might just be pulling my leg. Show me. Prove it. All right. Hey, Mario. Want to play with me? I'm playing Save the World. Now, Gaz, Mario might be a little tired, dear. Oh, come on, Mom. You never play with me. It's no fun playing alone. Oh, dear, Mario. I hate to ask, but could you play with Gaz for a little while? Yes. Okay. Mario just bought the farm, so um, you could be Bowser. I'll be Gino, okay? Ready? Let's play from where I left off. Ooh, scary, but just watch me. Better watch out, Bowser, because Gino's going to blow you away. Take this! Your turn, Bowser. <laughs> Ow! Oh, no! If he keeps this up, I'm finished. All right, you asked for it. The super-duper custom-patented one and only shooting star shot. Oops, I think I, uh, I missed. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Mario, are you all right? It's funny because Gino was a complete unknown when the game came out originally. Now there's almost like a meta angle to the Gino toy. Not really, but you know, you know what I mean. Like, people know who he is now. A whole generation of people that want Gino for Smash Brothers that will find out who he is for the first time finally now. I didn't make that up. I read that. I enjoyed it. This whole thing was just one elaborate ruse to invite Gino to Smash finally, and it feels feels great, man. Again, I love the intro cutscenes. I think it's a, a nice addition to the game. Simple, effective, rustic. Oh yeah, fuck your table. I step in dog shit. Yeah, doily dog shit. Yeah, doily dog shit. Mom, you'll never believe what I just saw. It was amazing, Mom. I just saw Gino walk into the forest. Neat, huh? Yes, dear. That's nice, dear. Isn't Gino the one who broke my lamp yesterday? Oh, Mom. That was just, well, you know. Now this was real. I swear, Mom. Really, it's true. I saw him outside. All right, Gaz. Let's hear it. What are you trying to get out of it? Out of this time, hmm? Mom, I didn't do anything. Really, I truly saw Gino walk into the forest. A true story, Gaz is now 38 years old. Oh, this boy is impossible. Sorry if I hurt you, but what would Gino want in the forest? I want my toy, motherfucker. <laughs> it's mine. I thought that was the child that Mario wanted to punch. But I think that's later in the game. We're told not to go outside because it's too dangerous. I'm worried about my grandson. He went out to play but didn't come back when he should have. Grandpa's pumping some water for us. I wish we could help too. Sorry to say, Grandpa's been hit by an arrow. Oh wait, no, no. He's not yet hit. Oh, wait. Wait. You got this, Grandpa. I tell you, it's scary out here, but someone's got to pump the water. 
Your hands are still behind your back. You did nothing. <laughs> I want to go someplace fun. Standing around here is so boring. Oh, this is not good. Now I can't go to the forest to chop up any wood. Mari, it's nice of you to drop by the shop. What can I do for you? Thick shirt for thick boys like Mario. And thick frogs like Mallow. is now, um, Santa Claus. He finally figured out how to do it. He's gonna deliver unsauced spaghetti to all the children of the world. My hushroom- My hushroom?! <laughs> what?! The fuck?! Why did I read that as hushroom?! My husband still hasn't come back, I wonder what's keeping him. There's a stairway that leads to my house, but my son's been playing with the controls again. Mario, only you could jump up there. Please help me get back to my house. Mine! Mine! What's taking Daddy so long? You think he's still looking for the treasure? You... you... Why didn't you enable the walkway for your father? is this box? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Ooh, what it? Okay. You had to jump a certain way for that to work. Okay. Sorry! I, I accidentally uh, retracted the bridge again. Now I see why this child made a mistake. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, were there... Were my treasures okay? No. You're kidding. They're gone, Mario. You're the only one who can reach them. Sorry, I got carried away. Oh well, since we didn't get hit by any arrows, I'll tell you a secret. Enter the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right in that order. Surely you'll find something nice. He wasn't even, like, really upset. not like you could use them anyway. Yeah, that's true. Chat, here it is.
I would put this in like top five video game musics in um maybe oh maybe like top ten. Top five or top ten, I would put it yeah. Cause it's like recognizable, it's really good. It's got like a storybook element that's just perfect for this game. I love it. Still not Wednesday. Can we listen to the original for a sec to compare? We can. Let me, um, hear this one one more loop. Oh, there- okay. Dropped out some instruments. Oh. Yeah, there's a whole second loop. That looks like an earthbound mushroom. I think they did the song justice, and then adding a little bit more to it. Like, this is the one... To me, this is the song of this game. And there's a lot of great fucking songs in this game, but that's the... That's the one I think of when I think Mario RPG. And, uh, doing... A little extra with it... Makes me very happy. Someone said we need a Machine Gun Kelly remix. <laughs> yeah! I mean, there's something also about the sound font here that I love. I'm gonna go ahead and say, at the moment, I like both quite a bit. But... I'm sure the new one's gonna grow on me even more. But yeah, I mean, I'm- obviously I have a lot of attachment to the original, and the way it sounds. Do anything as a mushroom, huh? Still great. Oh man, those peaches on them trees got me acting unwise, chat. But yeah, obviously, this one's maybe even a little bit more whimsical, <laughs> chat.
I don't know which one it is. We'll just we'll just see. These bees or hornets or whatever the fuck they are look an awful lot like the ones the zingers from uh, Donkey Kong Country. There are hidden chests in some of them. Oh yeah, there is Chained Kong in this game. I forgot about him. Millions of mushrooms, chat. Millions of them. It's my first one. I just used my first mushroom. But yeah, I mean, it's it's nice that you actually have like an expanded inventory just to help with the headache of being in the menu as much. But, um, chat, do you feel like if Earthbound ever got a remake, you'd want to see that as well in Earthbound? I see a lot of no's, and a lot of yeses. I see, like, maybe a, a little bit of half and half. Oh, there's, there's Gorilla. That, to me, is where Earthbound ages the worst, is the... amount of time I'm, like, in a menu or on the phone in the game or whatever. It's not that bad. It didn't ruin the game for me at all. I loved it. But, you know, it's maybe one thing that could use a little bit of an improvement. The problem is, though, and I'm wondering if there's been adjusted difficulty. Because, <clears throat> like, you could have, like, you know, four mushrooms and then, like, a bunch of other items. And that was your whole fucking inventory in the original Mario RPG. So it makes me wonder if the difficulty's also been adjusted. Just to account for the amount of items you can now hold. You had, like, 30 item slots? Original Mario RPG had a large inventory. True. Like, well, it was more than Earthbound by quite a bit, right? Like, 30, you said? And they didn't stack. But, um, I'm just wondering... Maybe Earthbound could do something similar, but adjust the difficulty appropriately? I don't know. I just don't like spending time in, in menus more than I have to. That killed Starfield for me, mostly. I mean, Starfield has its... It's a, apples to oranges yet again, but one of the things that made me not want to return is just the sheer monotony of being in my inventory as much as I was. Why does that gorilla have a crown of spikes? It's a Jesus allegory. Read the thoughts of that Kong? Okay. Um, another chat member said not every game needs a remake, which I also agree with. 
I'm good for remakes if, if they're like... You know, if they're like this level of... Um, care and attention. This year, there's been a lot of good ones. And then there's, yeah, remasters versus like reimaginings and like strict remakes or just upgrades like Metroid Prime was just kind of... What would you even call Metroid Prime, chat? Bad luck. Oh. That was more of a remaster than... Yeah. So that's a remaster. This is a remake? Or is this a remaster? Oh god. No, this is a remake. Resident Evil 4 was a reimagining? Because as similar as it was, it still felt reimagined in a lot of places. I am a work of fiction. Any resemblance to pre-existing apes is purely coincidental. <laughs> Wonderful. Someone said Warcraft 3 was one of the worst remakes ever. Yeah. I think what solidifies that status for me is that it, um... ...actively made it so that you couldn't play the original. Aside from all its problems, the fact that it kind of ruined just going back into the original... ...it got better... ...but... At the very least, you can say, well, it's inessential, because you can just play the original. Not- not that time. Not that time. hidden whoa the hidden treasure shit seems terribly designed yeah well picture this you're a kid you randomly jump, and there's a hidden treasure chest. It wasn't designed to be like, you need to find these. It was just for fun. Like, it's like, oh, it's a secret. You know? The signal ring in this game shows you there's a treasure. That wasn't even in the original. So, I hear what you're saying, chat member. I don't disagree that, like, yeah, doing this isn't the most fun thing in the world. And there are ones that are more obvious. But I remember playing the original, and, like just randomly stumbling upon a hidden treasure chest, and it was really cool to do that. It's like, it made the world feel bigger. Like, oh, how much other hidden stuff is there? It was cool. The original, the ring was in the original, it was just way later. Oh, okay. It needs yellow paint. One brave rat remains.
the bravest of rats. of other games that I would really want a remake for, but as I said earlier, the one that could use it the most is probably Secret of Mana, which, as we know, got a pretty, pretty bad one. I'm sure there's plenty of others. I'm sure, like, someone said Parasite Eve. I wouldn't mind seeing Parasite Eve done as, like, a huge budget game. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I'm curious to see, you know, what that would look like. Because I love the idea of playing around in, like, New York City in the winter and chasing down this, this weird, you know, this weird stuff, the goop, the mitochondria. But, um, I think just Secret of Mana would be great to, like, get another remake just to make sure that the old one is just completely, like, erased. It's Gene. Wait, was it left, left, straight, right to start? left from Mario's perspective. Huh? So wouldn't that be left? Oh, I was starting... Wait, huh? Left? Left? Straight? Is this is this is straight? From Mario's perspective. Left. Left. Straight. Right. Oh man. Someone put all that stuff in there. Even though, yeah, a lot of it's very redundant. It's like, here, have three mushrooms. One more thing in regards to remakes is, I still would prefer new games to remakes for the most part unless it's like a legendary video game that really needs it. Or like Turok 3 getting a re-release with new models and bug fixes and actually like making the game better because it looked like crap on the N64 and you know, that I think is good. I'm, I'm excited for that. That's in a couple weeks. But um, when it comes to like Chrono Trigger, I kind of would rather see a Chrono Trigger game with the same characters, but like a different story, like a sequel. There's still stories that could be told in, you know, with those characters. I also love Chrono Cross in, in my own, you know, my own way for its... For it is a, not a perfect game, but I quite like it. And I think you could do that with Chrono, but I guess Square just doesn't want to, uh... They don't want to keep making Chrono games for some reason. 997? 998? 999? 1,000! 1,000 arrows! 
For cover, they run. Yeah, fun this is. Yes, yeah, another 1,000 I will shoot. Mario, who is that guy? He must be the one shooting arrows at Rosetown. Happy I am. Yeah, look, look at their expressions. When they freeze, they do. Oh, they're steady like statues. Yeah, more practice do I need. Oh no, he's not stopping. We gotta do something. Oh yeah. Who do you think you are? Bruce Lee? You can't just go in there with your fists flying. Just too many of them will be creamed. Oh no, someone's coming. Let's hide and see if we can learn anything. On some level, hearing about Bruce Lee in a Mario fantasy game is a little strange. Yes, there's a charm to it, but I get... Maybe the Bruce Lee estate is going to come after Nintendo? I don't know. <laughs> but even so, it's it's kind of like... To me, it's... it's uh, I would prefer if it was there, but it's not killing me that it's not. I just don't know how Mario would know about Bruce Lee, or Mallow would know about Bruce Lee, because Mario's from Brooklyn, so of course he would know, but Mallow? Look what I found, Boyer. What? What? Disturb me, you must not! Practicing I am! More arrows must I shoot, more statues must I make! Yeah. Stop. Hold it right there, you don't know what you're doing, return that star to me. Yeah, yeah, a stranger you are, and strange looking at that. Teach you we must, who's in charge. Who might you be, yeah? I serve a higher authority. That star piece belongs to everyone. You can't keep it. Yeah, yeah, angry I am. Yeah. The lesson I will teach you. Hey, chill out. Mario, it's dangerous out there. Oh yeah, I'm a fight, I'm a fucking punch. You gonna run? That whack that weirdo saved the guy in blue? Me too. I will do what I can. But from over here. I'm not afraid. I'm not gonna cry. Ouch! Stop it. That's enough. Gunya! Yeah! Strong you are. But stronger am I. Hurt you, I will. So long. Yeah. Heart now, we must. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the help. But who are you? Mario, you just ditched me back there. Huh? Don't I know you? You look familiar. Oh, so you're THE Mario. We know about you. Knock, knock. Yeah! Insulted I am. <laughs> Oof, goofy little fella. That almost kind of went to the music. Yeah, now three against one! Not fair! Fix it, I will! Yeah. Shoot an arrow, I shall. When a target it hits, that button locked. Also locked our toad assist. Yeah, a fair fight just between us. Yeah. Obey my rule, my own rule, I will, so no complaints! Yeah. Oh.
can't get more than like 12 or 13. Oh, I fucked up. I wanted to see what he had to say. Ow. Oh, God. Regular attacks gone. What's with these folks dressed funny? They're they are, yeah, furious, it makes me, yeah. I don't know if it was worth it to waste that many turns just to get that, but all right. Oh, Gino is dead, Gino is dead, Gino is dead, what am I gonna do? Oh, I did, that wasn't where the song was. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get the thing. Yeah, bad this is. Uh, at the end of my rope, I am. Yeah, at the end it may well be. Yeah, lock all the buttons. I simply must. Uh oh. What are we gonna do? He won't let us use a single move. Listen, everyone. We've proven that we're quite the team. Let's join forces, all three of us at once, and take him down. Say what? Yeah, give dirty tricks you'll use. The same stunt I'll pull. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. No allies do I have to join forces with. You can now use triple moves. These powerful moves are available when the gauge is at 100%. Just this once will fill your gauge for free. Now, this is new Star Riders. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love it. I can't believe they put triple techs in the game. That's that's awesome. Thanks for the help. You really got me out of a jam. Why are you staring at me? You know I'm more than just a doll, right? Don't you? Yeah, of course. Okie dokie. <laughs> Have you guessed the truth? I'm a visitor from above, and this is the form I'm borrowing briefly. You mean like from the sky or something? Higher than that, I'm afraid. From within your mind, no one else can find- Oh my god, he's Rem Lazar! He's even blue! He's from even higher! Oh my god. Do you two know anything about the Star Road? Completely in the dark, eh? Well, it's a big mess up there right now. And it concerns you, too. Let me explain. You've heard of wishing upon a shooting star. At the Star Road, your wish is transformed into a star. When it's granted, then turns into a shooting star and falls down to Earth. So you see, the Star Road plays an integral role in granting wishes. But, ever since the sword destroyed the Star Road, everything's come to a halt. No stars have been made since. The way things stand, yours is a world where wishes can't come true anymore. Are you saying this star is part of your starway? That star road, my fluffy little friend. Yes, that star is a broken piece of the star road. I am here to find all of them, 
all of them, them all, and repair the Star Road. All them. The broken star pieces. There are seven altogether. For peace to return, we must get rid of Smithy. Find the star pieces and repair the star road. I'm... But that is hard to pronounce. So, call me Gino, after the doll. I chose him because he looked the strongest out of all the dolls. Now grab the star, Mario. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, you're not strong enough to be in a Smash Brother. Come on. Let's get this show on the road. Gino, who is searching for the pieces of Star Road, join Mario and Mallow. Things are definitely looking up. everything. Who would have known that star was so important? I've got to inform Smithy. The secret to the shooting stars has been unraveled. Find the star pieces and bring back peace to Mario's world. Uh, chat, where's this one? You got raided? Oh, thank you uh, for the raid. Everyone who ever raids me, ever. Thank you, I appreciate it so much. Uh, whoever you are, a moment. Vinny, look at the shadows. It's near the save box. Okie dokie, chat. <laughs> yeah, again, I agree this isn't the most fun, but it's also one of those things that's... It's not really necessary to the game. I'm just, you know, I'm weird. I want to get them. Should try the checking the same locations again. Hey, you saw what happened with the bed earlier. Sometimes you miss it by a couple pixels. This is why I need my Mario guide from Mario RPG, because it had the location of all of them. Oh no! Oh shit, what do I do now? Oh god! Chad, am I ever gonna get back there? Is it is it over? Um... Uh... I actually fucked up royally, congrats. Vinny, you saved, right? I don't think I saved... ...after the fight. It just says forest maze. Because if you get all of them, you do get something, right? Redo the Geno path. I don't remember the Geno path, son. You only need to remember the path that Gino walked in. 
Well, that's e that's easy. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. Oh, boy. Um... Asking Vin to remember something is a tall order. I mean, yes, but also, you saw how complicated the Geno stuff was. You had to actually follow him. Like, y you could see him. Vinny, just redo the fight. It won't take long anyway. I'm not going to redo the fight now. I'm going to do it on my own. I'm going to do it on my own. If, if it's in fact what I think it is, which is to say I might probably have to do the fight. So um, I'm going to... Because I just don't have the patience, I'd rather do the fight again. Oh, right. Every screen has a save. I know save one had the actual, like, manual save, but... It saves every mistake. I could always review the footage and watch the stream and then follow Gino again, chat. Could do it. Could Google the route. Right, up, up, right, up, left is apparently the path. Wait, wait, wait. Right? Up. Up. Right. Up. Left. Well, that just saved me a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, chat. Where, okay, so there's still... There's still the incident of, um... the missing thing. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Red Essence. Well, that's actually, from what I remember of this game, that's amazing. Alright. Well, that was a little bit of a conundrum that we, we you know, we figured it out. But I'm done for the, for the day, uh, chat. I'm going to take a look at this Half-Life stuff, and then I'm gonna get going. Game is good. It's a lot of fun. As we expected. The new elements are good. The music is great. The visuals are nice. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of frame lag, whatever. It's not really ruining my experience. If this was like a, you know, a first-person shooter, it would ruin it a lot more. Uh, that said, it is a very faithful remake. And the cutscenes are nice. And the graphics are nice. And it's, you know, it's Mario RPG with some quality of life stuff. So, yeah, I, I had a good time with it. And I, I hope you enjoyed watching because I thought, I thought it was fun. We'll do more of that next week.